The husband of the former First Minister of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon, has been arrested as part of a police investigation into the finances of the Scottish National Party. Peter Murrell resigned as the party's chief executive last month. Officers are examining how £600,000 raised to campaign for independence has been spent. Ms Sturgeon's successor as First Minister, Hamza Youssef, was asked when he knew about the arrest. I was told uh, this morning after the event, and of course my reaction, as you'd imagine, much like uh, anybody involved in, in the SNP, is that this is a difficult day uh, for the party. I obviously can't comment on a live police investigation. The chairman of an inquiry looking into the infected blood scandal of the 70s and 80s has called on the government to extend the compensation scheme to cover the families of its victims. Sir Brian Langstaff says it's important that they're recognised. Last summer, he recommended that people infected with HIV and hepatitis C after blood transfusions should receive interim payments of £100,000. Tony Farugia lost his dad and two uncles to the scandal. The impact has been devastating. My father died in 1986. Six. He was one of the very earliest uh, haemophiliacs to die from HIV and subsequently we've been losing family members right up until the last death was in 2012. So it's been affecting our family for the best part of 30 years. One of the world's largest online criminal marketplaces has been shut down in a global sting. Genesis Market sold, sold stolen login details that allowed fraudsters to hack into bank and shopping accounts for as little as 56 pence. The National Crime Agency has arrested 24 people in the UK as part of the raids. Ferry operators in Dover say they want to reduce the number of coaches using their services on Good Friday to avoid a repeat of the congestion last weekend. Instead, they say they're working with coach companies to spread travel from this Thursday to Saturday. The port declared a critical incident five days ago, with some passengers ending up waiting more than 12 hours. The Treasury says it stopped engaging with one of Britain's most influential business groups, the CBI, until an investigation into sexual misconduct allegations is completed. The group has hired a law firm to investigate the claims, which include sexual assault. Buckingham Palace has signalled that after the coronation, the Queen Consort will be known as Queen Camilla. The title's being used on the formal invitation to next month's ceremony at Westminster Abbey, when she'll be crowned alongside the King. Kelly Swaby is a royal historian and says the name reflects Camilla's improved standing within the family. She was at one point one of the most hated people in the country, especially during the 90s in the, in the War of the Waleses. And within the family itself, you know, there, there was a time when the Queen wouldn't have Camilla in her presence. So it's a remarkable transformation to now being called, quite rightly, as, as Queen Camilla. It's, it's, it's been you know, one hell of a transformation over the past 40 years. 